Have you ever thought about what it would be like to own your life? When you subtract out the sleeping time, commuting time, working time, and things you have to do each and every day of your life, most people don't have more than one to two hours a day to do what they would like to do, and then would they have the money to do it? We have discovered a way a person can learn how to own their life by building a home-based business, and we have a system for doing it that is so simple anyone can do it. It doesn't require selling, and the best part is it won't take much of your time. If you are interested, contact the person who sent you to this website. Most people aren't used to playing with numbers in this way, but when you take a look at what this can do, you can get really excited because see, you, you suddenly realize that you don't have to go out and sponsor a lot of people to build a very large organization. So for example, you sponsor two people, you help them sponsor two, that goes to four, you help them each sponsor two, that goes to eight, then it goes to 16. But notice what happens if everybody just got just one more. Of course, you now have three on your first level, nine on your second, 27 on the third, and 81 on the fourth level. Now notice that the difference when you go down the two, four, eight, 16, notice the difference between 16 and 81 is 65 more people, and everybody only sponsored one more. Now, let's fast forward this to having sponsored five people. Five goes to 25, 125, 625. Now, notice what happens here when everybody sponsors one more. Now you have six, 36, 216, 1,296. So the difference between 1,296 and the 625 is 671. But now let's take a look at the totals here. Because when you total up the 525, 125, 625, that totals 780. When you total up the 636, 216, 1296 side, that's 1,554. Notice the total difference there is 774. But what's the real difference? The real difference is everybody just sponsored one more. Salesmen their whole life are recruited by sales managers to sell for the sales manager. So when you recruit a salesperson into your business, what they're thinking is, oh, I'm going to go recruit a bunch of people to sell for me. I'll tell you right now, with that kind of an attitude, the person will never build a large network marketing organization. Because, see, we don't recruit people to sell for us. We sponsor people so we get to go to work for them. To be duplicated, first of all, you have to sponsor someone, and then you need to help that person get three levels deep. Because see, they have to teach their person how to teach their person to sponsor, and then you're three levels deep. When the person that you personally sponsor is three levels deep, now you are duplicated. I have seen salespeople come into this industry and have literally recruited a hundred or more people. And after six months to a year that have gone by, they're not but one or two levels deep in any place. They have not duplicated themselves one time. And if you keep doing that, it's just keep turning the people over. You'll never ever build a large organization. You've got to teach your people how to teach them to teach your people so you get the duplication going. Once you have taken someone through the system, they've read the book, they know how to drive. Okay, now napkin presentation number three is getting them started. Okay, the first thing you need to do to get them started 
is, of course, you've got to get in the vehicle, turn on the key, and that's actually getting signed up in your business. The second thing you need to do is start using the products yourself. That's like putting gas or fuel in, in the vehicle. And then the third thing, the most important, is that you need to get the car in gear. And the car is not going to go any place until you do put it in gear. And the first gear is sponsoring that first person. And then, of course, you're going to help them sponsor someone. That will put you in second gear, then teach them to teach that person to sponsor someone. You're in third, third gear, et cetera, and so forth, until you clear it up into fifth gear, and you're really flying down the freeway. Uh, as you're going down the freeway, uh, you pick up a friend, you take them along for the ride, and they buy some products. Those become your retail customers. So the business is very simple, just so you don't get it complicated. Just think about getting in, in your vehicle, getting it started, putting in the fuel, and then putting it in gear. What you need to do here is to picture your business like a big building. Picture in your mind the biggest building you've ever seen in your life, and then imagine how that building got built. Okay, first of all, they had to dig the foundation. Well, that's what we have to do in network marketing. We have to dig the foundation. And notice that you don't see the building until after they dig the foundation. Just like in network marketing, you don't really see a lot of income until you dig the foundation. Now, you know, if you're going to go out and just start selling uh, people, then you're going to make some money right now but you're really not doing anything to contribute to the foundation. But have you ever noticed that once the foundation is dug and the building gets out of the ground, how fast it goes up? Well, that's the same thing that happens in network marketing, that once you get that foundation going and you get out of the ground, then your income can absolutely skyrocket. And again, a problem salespeople have is that they dig their, they don't dig a foundation, they just go so wide that when the building starts to go up, it just keeps collapsing on them. So you've got to dig a nice solid foundation by getting your people three levels deep. And you just have a little patience because uh, they didn't dig the foundation for that building overnight. We watched them in Las Vegas uh, spend a year digging the foundation for the Palazzo before they started putting up the building and then they put up an awesome building. Just like you can build an awesome network marketing business, but you've got to dig that foundation first. This presentation shows you who you should be working with. Basically, you look at your organization as having three kinds of ships. You have gold ships, silver ships, and empty ships. Now, when those ships reach the shore, you're going to cash in on what's on those ships. So which ship are you going to spend most of your time with? Well, see, it's obvious when you look at it that way. You're going to spend most of your time with the gold ships. Now, understand, you know, back in the previous napkin presentation, we talked about getting 525, 125. We're really talking about gold ships here. Because if you have some people who are not gold but empty, for example, then you don't count them as your five. You want to have five gold ships. Spend most of your time with the gold ships, then spend time with the silver ships because you can upgrade them to gold, but don't waste your time with the empty ships. You will go down with the ship. Uh, basically, all that is is when you're talking to someone, you simply don't ask them head on. You say, hey, do you know of someone that might be interested? So you're not asking them, you're asking them if they know of someone. And that's why we call it the third party invitation. Cuts down on the rejection. Now, what I'd like you to do is picture yourself standing on the end of a dock. And you are launching ships, okay? Now, because most people, they don't have anything in their subconscious or in their mind about launching ships, then, you know, you don't have any, uh, anything that's negative 
in your in your mind. So, for example, you want to launch as many ships as you can. So, if you get a no, that means you launch this ship and it's sunk. Well, see that? How can that hurt you? Because you're still standing on the dock. So you just keep launching them, and the more ships you launch, the better chance you're going to end up with some gold ships. Well, when you come into the business and first get started, you should really spend 100% of your time with that new person you just sponsored. Teach him how to talk to the people they already know so they can introduce them to you when it's appropriate. And as time goes on and as you have more people in your organization, you will be spending less time uh, sponsoring people yourself and more time helping the people you already have. Because if you just keep going out signing up people yourself and don't spend the time working and supporting the people you already have, you'll be playing the big game we call adding and subtracting. We want to play the duplication game, which we call multiplication. Now, what is a sizzle session? A sizzle session is merely getting together with one or more people, usually in a restaurant or a coffee shop, to share ideas about your business. Now, you know when you go camping and you build a campfire, you have one log in the fire, one log, there's not, nothing's going to really happen. But when you get two logs, then you get a flame, you get the third log, you get a fire, and then a fourth log, you have a blaze. Well, that's the same at your sizzle session. As people arrive, more people show up, there's more energy around the table. And I encourage everybody to have their people always wear their own your life pin because as you come into the restaurant, you have what we call eavesdroppers. They're going to, you know, listen in to your conversations. They're going to see and ask you what your own your life pin is, which is a perfect segue to get to talk to someone about your business. With this presentation, we want to show people that by building your organization deep, how you're putting an energy up underneath the person. Now we know that water boils at 212 degrees and we want our people to have what we call an effective attitude. So they've got to get their attitude up and the best way to do that is when you say, for example, sponsored five people, Let's say that each one of them represents five degrees, and that's putting fire up under your person. But when they sponsor five people, now you have 25 people, and that's even putting more energy up at the person. So as you go deep, you're put, if you get to the point where it's almost like putting a blowtorch up underneath the person. They get so excited, they could literally go out and talk to anyone. What you need to do here is draw out a pentagon, as you can see on uh, the board here, and you sponsor five people. And then, of course, two months later, the five people you've already sponsored, they have sponsored five, but you sponsored five more. And then the next two months, you sponsored five more again. And the people you had sponsored the first month, they sponsored five more, and then their people also sponsored five more. You just work that around the Pentagon and you see how that's growing out. Then you just draw a line through everything but the original five and see by the time you're five levels deep, you're 5, 25, 125, 625, 3,000, 125, just add that all up and see how large an organization that you have. It is huge.